Hey guys, it's that Devin guy coming at you with a Robin Hood portfolio update. Happy Tuesday. Hopefully everybody's having a GGD, a great green day in the market. You know I always wish the best for my viewers and subscribers. So today we are having a red day. We're down about $261 today, but that means that there are good potential deals within the portfolio. So when we go through the individual stocks today, we're going to go ahead and highlight some of those deals um, that we find. So for today, we're down, like I said, around $260. For the week, we are down around $145. For the month, we are down um, $2,681, down 6.46%, which is good. Keep in mind, on red days, when there's blood in the streets, you buy, buy, buy. So um, that's a good thing. I know a lot of people would freak out about this, but um, this is exactly what we want as dividend investors because when the market... Um, goes down, that means that the quality companies <clears throat> that, that I own, say like a company like Coca-Cola, Pepsi, um, maybe Realty Income, these assets that you bought at, say, higher prices are now lower. So it would be like buying an iPhone 13 at a discount. Let's say you go into the store and the iPhone 13 is $1,500, right? And then you go in the next day and the iPhone is $1,200. Well, it's the same exact phone. You went in yesterday, um, and you're going to get it for $200 cheaper for doing nothing, literally just waiting to buy the phone. Um, or if you're holding it and you see that there's a discount on it, you could buy another one, and you know that it's still worth going selling on eBay for $1,500. You could go ahead and buy up all the phones that you could. I mean, that's what you should do. Buy all the phones that you could and then sell them on eBay for that $1,500 that you originally bought it for and then profit the rest. That is literally the same thing as the, as the stock market here. Mr. Market, I think, is overreacting, and the market tanked. He, he's pissed, and that's fine. Or he's scared, whatever. There's fear in the market. <clears throat> Either the people are ticked or they're scared or whatever. Doesn't matter. I think it's an overreaction, and it gives us a great opportunity to buy some quality companies. So let's look at our three-month mark. Now we're up $62 on the three-month mark for the year. We are up $7,700, up about 25%. And then all-time, we're up around eight grand, up 25.81%. So guys, in the short term, we are down pretty significantly, but that is a good thing. That just means that there are deals. So we have $89.73 for buying power. Let's take a look at some of the companies that we could be purchasing. Jump right in with Realty Income sitting at 65. That's a really good discount. 6509, we have 120 shares. Um, $7,810 worth of market value. Average cost is 6702. 20.18% uh, of the portfolio is in Realty Income. Today we're down 7080 total. We are down $230, um, around 3%. <clears throat> Great buying opportunity on Realty Income right now for my portfolio. Then we've got Coca-Cola sitting at $52.49, <clears throat> 65 shares, $3,400 worth of market value, great buying opportunity, average cost is $54.56, 8.81% 8 of the portfolio is in Coca-Cola. Today we're down $72.68, total we are down $1, 000, or sorry, $134, down um, about 4%, and a dividend coming in on October 1st of $27.30. Then we've got Altria. Not down as much, but still down a little bit. 175 shares, $8,400 worth of market value. Average cost is right around $48 a share. 22% of the portfolio is in Altria. Today, we are down 4080 Total, we're up 114 um, Dividend coming in on the 12th of around $158. Then we've got Allstate, which tanked as well. Not low enough for our average cost, but pretty close to it. We have one share, 128.12 is our market value. Average cost is $128 even. 0.33% of the portfolio is in Allstate. Um, today we are down $2.30 and total we are up 10 cents. All right, next we've got Abvi, which it looks like it's trading sideways today, which is fine. We have 75 shares, around $8,100 worth of market value. Average cost is right around $81 a share. Um, then um, our portfolio percentage is around 21%. $16.50 we are up today. Total, we're up over two grand still, around 33%. Procter & Gamble is down big again. <clears throat> One share. Market value is $139.72. Average cost is $143.84. 
0.36% of the portfolios in Procter & Gamble. Today we are down around 2 bucks. Total we are down 414. Good buying opportunity for Procter & Gamble. Then uh, for Clorox, we've got one share, 165.57 is our market value. Average cost is 168.83. 0.43% of the portfolio is in Clorox. Today we are up 70 cents. Total we're down 326, down 1.9%. Next, we've got Aflac, 5293. We've got 115 shares, around $6,100 worth of market value. Average cost is $49.56. 15.7% of the portfolio is in Aflac stock. Today, we are down a little over $54. Total, we are close to um, about $390, uh, up around 6.8% uh, on Aflac stock. Then we've got Prudential, which is up pretty big already. We've got 40 shares, $4,300 worth of market value. Average cost is 103.26, around 11% of the portfolio is in Prudential. Today we are down around $27 or $26. Um, in total, we're up 107.73, up 2.61% on Prudential. And then we've got Travelers. We've got one share, market value is 153.62, average cost is 150.107. 0.4% of the portfolio is in uh, Traveler stock down 267 today. Total, we're up 255. And that closes out the portfolio. So, guys, there are some very good deals. Realty income is down to $65 a share, which is $2 below my average cost. So, a great buy there. Coca Cola is at $52.52, which is $2 off of my, my average cost. Procter and Gamble is down significantly. Um, almost four bucks down off my average cost and then Clorox is down three bucks so right now I would say that I should be buying some realty income because that, that that's a decent drop and same with um probably Procter and Gamble at 139 that's a really really good price so um, our percentage for the year is 25 percent so we're going to compare that to Berkshire and the other um, indexes so Berkshire is up 29%, so they're beating us by 4% today. Um, the NASDAQ, we are um, down about 5% from the NASDAQ. Um, Dow Jones, which is what Buffett used to compare himself to, we're even with. And then the S&P, which is tech heavy, I'm assuming is beating us yeah, by like 5%. So not terrible, but we're doing pretty good. Pretty much matching most of the indexes. So with that being said, guys, um, we have some deals in the portfolio. Can't take advantage. I get paid on Friday. So that's okay. But we're just going to sit on the sidelines and um, we're going to take advantage on Friday. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to hit the subscribe button on my channel, That Dividend Guy. And when you do, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any updates. Guys, I've been doing dividend increase videos as well as daily portfolio updates. So if you guys like the content, make sure... Um, you, you, so you don't miss any updates on dividend increases, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another Robinhood portfolio update. Take care, guys.